Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we've got an iPod Touch 5th generation. It's the A1421. And uh, everything's in good shape, but the battery's not holding a charge for very long. So the customer wants a new battery put in. Now we just put it on a hot plate and we're going to loosen up some adhesive that's down at the bottom near the home button. Once we've separated the adhesive from the bottom part of the screen, we'll be able to just pop these edges loose. They're just snapped in with little clips. They can be a little bit stubborn. and then it's just hinged at the top with a metal bracket. So we've got 12 screws that we need to remove from around this uh, shield. Some of them are a little different size. So you wanna keep up with those and make sure you put them back in the same place. Now the home button is uh, on this little flex cable is stuck down with adhesive. So we're gonna heat that up with a, with a hot gun just a little bit and that'll make it a little easier to get underneath and lift it up. And it just slides through an opening in the shield. So the battery soldered down to the main board and uh, it has little three little solder joints um, that are underneath this piece of tape that I just peeled off but it leaves behind uh, this sort of substance that's going to have to be scraped off a little bit like scraping a lottery ticket so you don't want to gouge the motherboard or the connector or the solder pads but we just want to lightly, gently scrape off that uh, substance so we can get access to these solder pads. So now you can see the three pads are starting to show through. And once we've got uh, enough of that out of our way, we'll be able to put some fresh flux on there. And we're going to uh, put a little bit of uh, low melt alloy, or you can use uh, leaded solder. Um, to lower the melting temperature of the solder to make it a little safer to remove because we don't want to pull any pads. So we're just going to work that in there in the existing solder 
So we're not actually going to lift it off yet. Now I'm just going to use um, a hot air station to finish it up and get this off of there. But you can use a soldering iron. Now we can take our old battery out. And there is a f one flex cable that runs up through the middle uh, underneath the battery so be careful that you don't uh, tear into that or cut into that or anything with your tools so once we get the battery kind of started it's stuck down with adhesive also but once we get that started we'll be able to just sort of lift it up out of there and it comes right on out So we're going to put some fresh adhesive down on the housing so that the battery will stay nice and secure. And the new battery just slides in underneath the motherboard there and watch out for your home button make sure it's stuck down good now we'll be able to we're going to wick off uh, any solder that's left over on these pads and get those cleaned up real good before we go any further We don't want any low melt alloy or anything to be on there. We just want pure solder. So we'll just clean all that extra flux there off and then we'll be able to tin those pads. So we're going to put a little bit of fresh solder on each one of those pads. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're going to leave the flux that's there so that we can uh, use it to help flow the solder through those little holes on each one of these little connectors. So we're going to get it situated where we, where we want it and line it up really good on each one of those solder pads and then we're going to hold it down while we use the soldering iron to draw some of that solder through each hole. And then we'll come back and touch it up.
Now we're just going to clean off all the uh, flux residue and everything. And we'll cover it over with some capped on tape so they those joints can't be touched by anything. I'm going to take a closer look. Nice and sexy. Now we're going to go ahead and put our shield back down. You can test it before putting the shield down if you're not sure that it's going to work. We're going to go ahead and put our home button back into position. And put our 12 screws back. So we have enough of the old adhesive down at the bottom there that we can just reuse that. That stuff sticks really hard. I had a little trouble with this last screw. So we'll go ahead and test it real quick before we close it up permanent. Oh, and I got a new mat for my bench, too. I've had blue mats, uh, static mats, on all of my benches except the one I actually do these videos on. And I finally got a new one. So it's all clean. So we can see the little lightning bolts there, and we've got a little green icon. So it is charging. We're gonna go ahead and close this up. Now there is a little metal uh, bracket underneath the top. It's located right there. And then another spot on either side of the uh, frame that fits underneath the housing, kind of hinges in there. And then the sides just snap back into place and the bottom sticks down. Just kind of clean it off. Give it a quick once over. All looks good. So we'll power it on with just the battery. There we go. So anyway, I hope this was uh, useful for somebody out there. And I uh, hope if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.